thought Sonic could handle anything, but... Death? <laughs> His one weakness! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the bombastic side eye from Shadow. Oh my gosh. He's really just irritated at the way that hand is handling that, uh, the duster. He wishes it was him. Handling the duster? Yes. Welcome back. Welcome back. This, we're gonna. We're gonna find the murder of to Sonic the by Hedgehog. this time now, right? Well, hopefully. Did we find everything in this room? We solved the murder, right? Or the <laughs> we solved the murder. We the game solved the is over. issues of this room. Uh, yeah, we talked to Shadow, and he was like, "I was getting Amy a birthday present on the computer." Oh yes, and it was like, "I'm we're gonna go see the Banshees or whatever band it is," and Amy's like, "Oh my gosh, thank you." Yeah. Oh Amy. yeah, we're going to the conductor <laughs> car. I'm trying to remember Tails' voice. Ready to go to the conductor car? Let's finish this. It's now or never! Really? So, like, if we, like, stop for, like, three minutes? I mean... There's right. nowhere else to go on this train, so... We can go back to the other cars. But we already There's talked no to one them. here. There's a hand. <gasps> oh. Is the hand dead? Should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Oh. Feels empty? Maybe because there's no conductor. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when we he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Did he say he was coming with us? The Nothing conductor? we can't figure out. He said he had to go to the conductor car to get it ready to go or something. I don't remember. Come on, time to investigate! Why, we just recorded it. Let's crack on! Like a month and a half ago. <laughs> Check the trash! <laughs> you know, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin. I'm not hooked anymore. You're satisfied with finding a clue here- Wait. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on the high note. Maybe just check it anyway? No. No, no, they're right. You should always check the trash bin. Let's give it a look. You gave in so easily. Will you be okay if there's nothing in there? I found something once. No one can take that away from me. I'll be fine. Didn't... Didn't someone take it away from us? Shadow. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing in there, huh? Oh, no. You look so sad about it. You two have been talking over trash the trash can for a while now. What are you, some kind of freaks? You We're got a bomb or talking. something? You been drinking too much, bud? Always. That's okay. We're a, we've all been there once. Oh, no. I'm eight years sober. Did you find something? <laughs> Is it a clue? <laughs> oh, oh, it's vomit. Mm -hmm. Maybe just leave Bunnik alone for a second. Mm. Mm. What is that? Hmm, what's this? Someone playing darts? Uh oh. That's not a throwing dart, that's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. Not scientifically possible. Hmm. I've never touched a weapon in my life. Hmm. That shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them aboard. They took all my guns on before I got on this stupid machine. Let's make a note of this. Hmm. A low dart is added to your inventory. Oh, that kind of note. Oh, sorry. I'm I'm so off today. This robot arm is com being completely torn off. Yuck! How creepy. That arm is powerful. 
be tough to break out of its grip. How would you know? How would you know, Shadow? No reason. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. Broken robot arm. Yay. I think we found... Oh, are you serious? It's been really? two seconds. Who are we gonna... Are we interrogating Amy? Why did you do this? No, you gotta check everything else. I didn't realize robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no. Just how to work the microwave. Did they even teach us how to do that? No. <laughs> I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Oh, guys! <laughs> I'm sorry, I was taking a drink. Uh, yeah, look at the TV. I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're used to show information in advertisements. They're nice. The picture is really clear. I would watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said, Happy Birthday, Amy! That was so cute! I don't remember that. The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring, though. <laughs> the high-quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. Too many boogies. Which one's talking? Amy. A microphone! <laughs> they showed all three, so I'm like, who is it? We can talk to the whole train with this! That's a speaker, not a microphone. Should I say something? <laughs> Beatboxing. Bonnet, why are you reaching for the mic? Oh! Just, uh... Offering our guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive, Phonic. Thank you for sharing. Don't do it again. Or I'll cut you. What? Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? Dr. Eggman. <laughs> A cup of joe in your hand. Wife by your side. Paradise. All right, all right. We need... We, we get it. He loves his wife. That's sweet. We get it. Enough. We, Stop posting about it. We get it. I'm lonely. <laughs> no one loves me. Uh, and yeah, I'm the obsessed picture. with guns. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, I had a hiccup there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. So hot. You're married, Amy, or not? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> like, maybe she's not Amy? No, like, it's implied that she and Sonic are together, right? Uh, are bro, they married? I, I don't know. I don't. I, Sonic clearly has access to a lot of rings. I think we've, like, very clearly established our lack of knowledge of Sonic lore. Hmm. We'll find out. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Thank you. Uh, yes, I wish that too. Uh, right. I guess interrogate Amy then. The vent! The vent. A vent! Hmm, it's a large one. Seems like at least one person could fit through. Oh, wait, that was Amy. Damn it. Not a problem for me. But I'm not sure how you'd get up there. Rude. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Hmm. They fly now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, the uh, tails, right? Phonic! How could you not notice his tails? Oh my gosh, you're so embarrassing, Phonic! Talk to Amy. To Amy. Well, you two? Think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect! What do you think, Phonic? Ready to solve this case? Not really. I mean... Hello, everyone! 
yells down to the entire train. This is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. Ah. Yeah. Everyone. <laughs> Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. You didn't do sh Amy, I did all this work. Phonic Lead Investigator of the Year. Oh, wait. With assistance from Phonic. Thank you. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Because he's, he's dead. dead. Vector! Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead! Lazy bum! Couch. Ready, let's go get him. Right. <laughs> Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air is... The air here is so intense. I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. I could just... Kiss someone. I'm right here. <laughs> The train has so many amenities. I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. Oh, wait. This still... I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. Espio's a detective? Yeah. I, oh. I actually found that out the other day when I was, like, reading up on all the Sonic lore we knew nothing about. Why are you reading up on Sonic lore? You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am a humble poet. Oh, I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. How do you escape the train? You hop off. I love escape rooms! Count me in! I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride the train just to relax sometime. Mm. You and me, Phonic. Uh, yeah, that'd be fun too. Don't need to bring Funic along. Maybe I can watch. Watch? <laughs> I'm gonna scream. Hang on. Ah! Huh? Huh? Hmm. What in the world? That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? Uh. Oh, he's actually dead! Yay! I called it! Not good, but like... <laughs> he, he, he's not responding to us! I read that as... <laughs> <laughs> Sonic! Sonic! What? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure he's his head is propped up. I'll help you. Oh, I knew one of you would take this too far. <sighs> Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less! Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles! Except the mysterious... So I'll ask conductor. again. Which one of you... Did this! Uh. Uh. This is inexcusable! Sonic's hurt! I'm going to expose the monster who did this! Tails is not having it. <laughs> Someone murdered his friend. This is not his day. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Sonic could handle anything, but... Death? <laughs> his one weakness! <laughs> 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 Somehow he met his match. I'm gonna help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Flip him over. Gross. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room. Nothing. No one is here. And punish the one responsible. Give them a spank. Sonic. He really was hurt this whole time, and I did nothing. Yep. I'm righting my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Funic, 
have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh! The, the, the correct answer isn't here. I dare you to pick Amy. Wait, that can't be right. Neither Tails or I can be the murderer. Exactly. Ah, uh, that's right. Okay, well, who do you think? I, I was gonna... I, th I think it's the conductor. That's not an option. I know. Uh... What are you doing? Dude. Hmm. Let's see. There's a dart. There's a broken robot arm. So someone strong enough to break a robot arm and has the ability to blow. A dart. Someone who has the ability to blow. So I'm going to say Vector's out then. Okay. <laughs> Do any of these characters normally wield an axe? You're the one who's Googling Sonic lore, not me. You figure it out. Uh, Rouge. Hmm, I don't... Oh. Sorry. Well. Well, um... When I'm put on the spot like this, it's hard to explain. Maybe I'll pick someone else. Okay. Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? That can't be right. <laughs> Is it literally just like... I mean, like... if someone actually murdered Sonic, then... You picked... It, oh. I was gonna see if, like, it was the trash can. Think, Flonic. Who was the one suspect Shadow didn't see when he was walking through the train? Who was the one? Oh. I think that was Rouge? Espio. Oh, Espio, yeah. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? Hmm. I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. My man was reading. Knowledge is power. Your man? You have nothing. <laughs> Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. Talking about the secret door? Yeah, secret tunnel. New evidence. Oh, that's right. Phonic, could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? Vector's been asking passage. protective. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from a library car. Yeah. To the lounge car. Oh, uh, yeah. In the lounge, the hidden passage exit... Oh, the hidden passage exit is behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without... We didn't ask you any questions. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true. You didn't miss a question. But I think Phonic and I can explain that too. Phonic? How did Espio know everything for in the train manual he was reading? Uh... Ponin. Ponin. Espio is a poet! I feel such a profession would make you quite the reader. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it! This is stupid. That's... This is so reaching. <laughs> Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. I really hope this isn't the result. What? That's that's absurd. Memorizing a whole book. It takes me like three weeks to just read a single page. <laughs> I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once sped read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. What a prick. <laughs> He told me that Snape ate Dumbledore. Ate Dumbledore. <laughs> if I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized a book before entering the hidden passage, 
that Espio could have met Sonic at the conductor's car, where he was murdered. Since we're already talking on, in what ifs, let me throw something at you. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> You're definitely the murderer! <laughs> How was I to know about that hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right. How would Espio even know it was there? You said yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find a passage. Sonic and I might not have the evidence to answer your question. But we know someone who does. Sonic? Who here is evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? I would assume Shadow because he came Shadow. through that. Oh. Screw you, kid. Uh, Rouge? They told They told us we could see something later, and now it's the time to take a look. So yeah, Rouge. Cause she stole something and she's like, you can see it later. Oh. Uh. Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? No way. Inspector. <laughs> blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever. I already used it to scout out more treasure. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints have been added to your inventory. Yay. I don't know why I read it like that. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Wow. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. Nice. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Phonic, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Uh, swipe them from the conductor? There's a code included with those blueprints I thought was odd. That code is classified information. Could these blueprints have belonged to the conductor? Bam, bam, bam. Thank you. I was... Thank you for having that on lock. That makes a lot of sense, actually. I remember the conductor pulling blueprints out to show me something during my interview. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Espio could have swiped the blueprints, found out about the passage, and then stuffed them somewhere. Come to think of it, I did discover the blueprints in the library car. No way! <gasps> this is my theory! Espio looked at the blueprints, then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Sonic and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered! I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Sonic and I have evidence on how it was done! <laughs> oh, this is rich, pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? A blow dart. The hand. It was a hand job. Oh, no. Come on, focus. You're close, Phonic. What would Sonic do? WWSD. <laughs> oh, yay. Maybe the final one. 60 coins! Do you want encouragement or silence? I am a pro. I don't need either. Oh, fine. I guess I'll Look just me sit go. here and talk smack about you this entire time. Good. Wow, you really suck at this. I like, know. Ugh, my gosh, yeah, I've never seen a me. worse Sonic. Oh, what the? <laughs> <up? laughs> oh. Oh, why? Because you suck. Cruel, merciful fate. Watch it. Oh, jump. Heck. Jump. Oh, what the heck? Cool. Very good. Wow. That was impressive, actually. First try. Yeah. <laughs> this blue dart was found here in the conductor room. Yeah. <laughs> I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. He hit him in the back of the head with it. Like this. Uh, so you mean... Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? Because the blow dart poked them. Heh. <laughs> you deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. Sonic, he's dead. That's fatal. 
<laughs> if I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, oh, shoot, that's a good point. But Tails was onto something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have the key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Sonic and I know another way it could have been done. We do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? The menu. The menu? I mean, I... Uh... It would have to be blueprints, right? I guess. All right, now what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think, Sonic. Oh, you have to do another one. Oh, boy. Yay, 65. Nice. Heck. You suck at this! I know. Uh, uh. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude! Were you even trying? No. Come on, get it together. I wasn't even trying a little bit. All right, I'm gonna try encouragement this time. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yay, dying, good job! I'm so proud! You're amazing! Dude, come on, you're making it really hard. That's what she said. No. Wow, so amazing! I'm so proud of you! You're the best Sonic player in the world! Uh. Yeah! Oh Sonic! Ah, I'm gonna work! Oh my gosh! I did it. Yeah! Encouragement worked. Or something. I mean, the mean talk worked last time. Alright, let's take a look! If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? Ugh. There's there's a path above the conductor car. Oh yeah, the and vent. It, and it goes all the way to the dining car. <gasps> huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there? Mm. The vent, of course! That must be the entrance to the path! Allow me to check it out. Punch it. My word! <laughs> that doesn't feel like something Knuckles would ever say. I wouldn't know. I don't know his character that quick, way. There's a quick... There's a path back there. And a track. A track? Huh? A train track. This must be the path where... Bleh. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying... I somehow fit Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car. Bleh. Tails, you're a smart kid, so you realize we both couldn't fit up there. Espio's right. This thing feels flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? The blow dart. <laughs> the blow dart. You stabbed him over and over till he was thinner. You can do this, Sonic. Ink. All right, 75? 70 coins. Go, Aaron. You are so great at Sonic games. I love you. Encouragement. Insert encouragement here. Dude. Dude. Uh. Watch it. It's okay. You're only oh a third gosh. of the way there. This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Boy, ah. Not even close. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Blah, blah, Try blah. Try it again. I'm doing so good. I'm very proud. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Open the door. Open the door. Ah. Oh my goodness. Ah. <sighs> okay. okay. You're so close. Oh, Frick. oh, 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 oh. That part's freaking just insane, dude. Because I, I have that. to zigzag to get the rings and zigzag to avoid the spikes. It's just, it's too much, man. I'm pretty sure you just can't get hit and you'll be fine. 
Oh, thank you. Aaron, Frick. what did I just what did I just Frick. say? <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> We're in the same place as before. You can do it. You can do it. Oh. Yay. Okay, if you don't make it after this one, I'm cutting it to where you're successful. Okay. There's no need to cut. I'm perfect. I'm a star. Please, I'm a I'm hero. A star! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this is torture hell. As opposed to regular hell where they don't torture you. Exactly. They give you brunch instead. Bottomless mimosas. Eh. 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 See, we don't need to find Sonic's murderer. He's alive right here. It's me. He's fine. I'm Sonic murderer. No, no, he's Sonic. He's fine. He's alive and well. Dude, you're doing so good. Eh. Eh. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Watch me die. Don't. I yeah! did it. <laughs> oh, it took so long. Dude, I could like, I was clenched the entire time. I don't know about you. Uh. I'm sure you were. <laughs> Everyone saw the broken arm on the ground, right? <laughs> Clearly a fight. <laughs> It's, are you okay? No. It's gonna be all right. No. No, you won. You don't have to do it again. Uh, Maybe. Maybe you'll have to read. do it again, and it'll ask for seventy-five coins. Read. <laughs> Clearly, a fight broke out here, and one of these robot arms was casualty. What if? What if the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said that there's a track of robot arms that. Wait. There's a track the robot arms use that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. That, that's ridiculous. Take a look at Sonic, he's clearly banged up. <laughs> could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? <gasps> uh. I can see that, the arms do look powerful. Very powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting fairy tales. But you have to admit, these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to SBO yet, but I have found one inconsistency! Hmm? What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from SBO. Who received that information? Uh. Amy! Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. The Pooper Scooper. The Baskin Robbins. Uh. No, that's a cold scoop. Oh. Tails, you're, you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. We found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio. I'll kill you. Oh. Pulls out a gun. Hmm. <laughs> no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. I said that Shadow was slocking Nors to hill Phonic misheard you. Yes, yes, uh, I, I, uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors is what I said. I was clearly looking out for my fellow passengers' safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? You lazy sack of crap. <laughs> Learning. While you were stationed in the room with Hidden Passage. Gah. And now you're lying to me? On my birthday of all day? That's the point of the game. Give him a bonk. I'm 
believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. That is kind of literally the point of the whole murder mystery game. Yeah, like, why is Amy mad? <laughs> when examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. It's like the kid that screams at you for shooting them during Call of Duty. <laughs> you're like, when you, you play tag, you, you're like, tag, you're it, and then they chase you for five seconds, and you're like, stop! I don't like this game! <laughs> 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 that it could have only been one person! That was... That was you, SBO! I can't do both voices. Oh, he's taller than Tails. You didn't? I thought so. You are the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog! Mm. That's why it's called that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Whoa. Hey, guys! Sonic, you're okay! Sonic, and just as we solved the mystery... Aspio was the murderer! Right. I didn't just kill myself just to get myself out of Amy's birthday party. <laughs> oh my god, oh, wow. that's it, isn't it? Oh, no. Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me, I said. A blow dart through. Though. Though? Really? That's kind of dumb. It's non-lethal poison. You'll be sleepy for a while. Great. I could use an app. And a chili dog. No, wait. There's something important. Espio left me there. I love the dramatic side view. Something important. I need everyone to listen. Dr. Eggman. Oh, my God. I was right. Yay! <clears throat> Sonic, are you feeling all right? Do you need to lie back down? No, no, we all gotta get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all the features of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. He was like, there's bombs in here, and there's guns here to kill Sonic, and Sonic restraints. And I was like, <laughs> I don't restraints. know. <laughs> what do you use those Sonic restraints for? I asked to see the power source and the conductor hadn't even seen it. When we all when we took a look, we realized it had snow white hair and glowy green eyes. The train was powered by a flicky. <gasps> it's Tails' ex uh, yeah. partner. There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman! I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. He was like, there's people on this train, Sonic. We can't destroy it just now. Your girlfriend's on this train, Sonic. I was like, whatever, man. <laughs> I didn't even plan her birthday party. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple bad Nick. It's a really bad Nick. <laughs> it's the conductor's friend. This train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They uh certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my left sold shoulder. It was the blow dart from Epsio. But it, it's Espio. Ugh. Mm. <laughs> so Epsio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <gasps> hey, stop. What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came on me, ne for me next. No, oh my gosh. I spin dashed right through the arm, sliced it off the rail it was on. Oh, wow. I'm amazed he was able to do any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Hot. And then it took out another appendage. Oh. The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Dun, dun, dun. Oh no. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. 
everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered. No! Thank you for coming forward. <laughs> yeah, we already knew that. The situation has gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? You know, I'm getting the vibe that we're going to have to do another episode. Probably. We're like 40 minutes in, man. Yeah, but at least 10 of those was you trying to beat that one level. Okay, well, whatever. It's still a long episode. All right. Maybe well, we call this the next time? Maybe we will call this the next time. If if, if it's, it's like five minutes, we'll, we're going to leave it like this. But if there's enough for another episode... Check the timer right now. Okay, so how much time is left? Hover, hover the mouse over. What do you see? Okay, Tell so us. if it's like 15 minutes or less, it's going to be the same episode. If uh-huh. it's like two, if it's like 30 seconds left, then we're going to do another episode. Yep. Okay? All right. Cool. Thanks. Next time. See you later. Bye. Bye.